you go. Nice weather. Warm welcome. Hmm. And what, a glass of wine, I suppose. Some key ingredients you might find on a holiday list. You've just come back. Were they on your list? Uh, they weren't. Uh, beer was on there, but yeah. <laughs> Most of the rest, yeah, yeah. Increasingly, though, good Wi-Fi is becoming a must-have on a break. Yeah, some recent research has suggested almost 80% of people on holiday want to be online at some point. Isn't the point of having a break, switching off and relaxing? Indeed it is. Mm. It's been the subject of a conference in Bournemouth today, and we sent Tom Hepworth to the resort for a short break. I'm sitting down to enjoy my holiday. But it seems many of us can't take a break without being online. But a conference today at Bournemouth University is looking at how tech... Sorry, it's my producer. Yeah, hello? Yeah, yeah, we're filming it now. OK, OK, bye-bye. But a conference at Bournemouth University today is looking at how technology is affecting our work-life balance. If you travel and you go on holiday and you're always connected to social media and updating, then you're not living in the now. You're not experiencing what is in front of you, but you're mostly living online. So it's really about being distracted, not being able to switch off to recharge your own batteries and your refresh your body and mind, essentially. Have we lost the ability to be bored? If you're waiting for a train, people always just look at their phones and always connected. So rather than giving sometimes yourself the space just to breathe in and think and, and, and getting your mind clear. Just time to clear a few emails before the conference. A Tech Cities report named Bournemouth as one of the fastest growing digital hubs in the UK. And it's an opportunity not lost on those in the tourist industry. Unless you've got the technology, you don't have the competitiveness. If you don't have the competitiveness, you don't exist. If you don't exist, you don't have profitability. I think that any organisation that is not using cutting-edge technology is missing the trick. And they do not maximise their potential with their customers. So, are visitors able to cope without technology? We we'll check Facebook, see what the kids yeah. are up to and stuff. Um, and then back at the hotel, you're straight on the tablet. Yeah. So it's yeah, like but it's become become part of every day now. It's riding really, isn't it? Yeah. Do you talk to each other much? No. no. <laughs> That's why it's lasted so long. <laughs> we're down here on holiday at the moment. We're camping in the New Forest, so um, we're going without signal and phones. How are you finding it? Lovely, apart from this wet weather. <laughs> Need to pick up my phone, check something, surf conditions, wind, yeah, all the time. So you, you, you're definitely a technology addict. Have to have it, yeah. yeah. Otherwise you fall behind, don't you? You need it. Well, if you can't get a signal, then you can't stay connected. But maybe in a society where we're all driven to distraction by these, dropping off the grid is the biggest luxury of all. Personally, I haven't got a problem switching off.